Hi, what I thought I'd show you today is my uh, Action Man collection now I've moved it. I did originally have it in these cabinet here, but unfortunately uh, they kept falling over and I was really scared of some of them getting damaged and some of them were quite pricey. So I've just got my gaming figures there which is pretty cool, at least I know they've got a home now. And then I've got my helicopter, army helicopter up there. Replacement bands and a replacement hook, but all complete, working, no broken runners, so very happy with that. Got my Scorpion tank now boxed. I've kept him boxed because uh, basically I don't want him getting damaged. Uh, I did damage that bit on the vehicle and I glued it back together and it was a very bad repair, but it's all there. So I've just left him in the box now and my game console up there safe that one's from the 70s and then we've got my figures here all in uh, plastic uh, cases so I can see them all I mean I have got a couple of white ones like you know white box ones but these protect them because they were just falling over in the glass cabinet and I couldn't see them all because some were hidden behind others. So just got to get some more cases for these ones that aren't cased. Had that one back in the, when I was a child. And then we've got my boxed Action Man. There's a figure what goes with him. Got all the paperwork and everything in it. All the flaps. Got my British Infantryman. So got his medal I've got my German that's the only German I really want I'm not really bothered about the captains and the though I do like the Africa call ones I've uh, got a medic this belongs to someone I've just left the face dirty because it's part of his childhood I'm only the second owner who's owned it so I just left it as it is now we've got my uh, Royal Marine there. And then we've got my Arctic Assault, not Arctic, Ground Assault figure. Quite rare. Uh, he's on a stand at the moment because he's quite, the figure itself is quite, it's wobbly, but he does stand. But just it's a bit of extra protection. It's got the rare mask. That's important. It's made of rubber, so it does disintegrate. So he's pretty cool, even though he's not from my era. And then we got my Talking Commander. He's like original 60s painted head Talking Commander. But I put him in that fat outfit because, well, basically that's what I had. And uh, I, I had that helmet on my Talking Commander. So I just thought I'd put him together. A bit limp, as you can see, but he still talks really well. Got one of my new rivals, which is my uh, Desert Fire, or uh, oh, I forgot what they call them. Anyway, it's from the Africa Court kind of figure. I do know it. Oh, might come back to me. Here we've got my SES Talking Commander. I mean, most of these have replacement hands. They do perish. And then we have my British Infantry. Uh, there is a story behind that. I did used to belong to a lot of groups on Facebook. 99.5% um, of the people were brilliant. I loved them. They were just great. Like, like your figure, you know. So the comment, what it reminded them of. But then you did get one, like half a percent who just say... Oh, that's the wrong helmet. What goes with that? Or that's doesn't go with that. And it just got annoying. So I, did, I unfortunately, I left the groups on Facebook. Not because of 90.5% who are really lovely people. But just the, the point 0.5. I have to make a point about everything. You can't just look at something. And there we have my combat soldier. My beachy head. Some of these got extra accessories, 
obviously that's the heavy weapon and then we've got my mix and match SAS figure quite happy with that because there's so many bits for it I just got you know the bit of the um, from the uh, scuba diver the helicopter uh, the uh, parachutist and then the basic mask and uh, gas mask and the cover and his gun and then here I have my Tom Stone figure quite unusual to get hold of him but I'm, ha I'm happy I've got him so I say I don't really need people commenting saying that's wrong this is wrong he he's good for me I never pay like too much I pay a good price but I never pay silly like prices for them and then we've got my Jeep love that one I had to do a repair it came broken so I just did a repair but it means more to me the fact that I've done something to it and like you know you can play with it and then below we have my SES beachhead dinghy motor doesn't work but I'm not worried about that I'm not going to go out and play with it and then we just got a SES card there so you know I'm, I'm more happy now I know like, I'm not going to come down in the morning or late in the evening and all the figures are going to fall over they're all safe in their own individual cases so very happy now I thought I'd share that with you just to update you why I've kind of left Facebook uh, action man sites not as I say majority of people are really good and I really enjoyed it but I just don't really need sometimes you know the comments are a bit ridiculous you know I didn't put it on there I'm not asking for people to tell me what's wrong with them I'm just sharing what I've got and what memories I've got of them so uh Thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next video.